I believe there is a conspiracy on foot to break up this union. It is the duty of every good citizen to frustrate the scheme. At Norfolk, Virginia, they wanted to know whether, if Lincoln was elected, I would help them dissolve the Union. I told them never on earth. Southerners disagreed. Within three months of Lincoln's election, the seven Deep South states had seceded and created the Confederate States of America. To Douglas, it was a terrible blow. I regret to say that our country is now in imminent danger. I know not that the Union can be saved. I am prepared to make any sacrifice consistent with patriotism and duty to save the Republic. We must put our trust in God as our only hope. Southern cannon firing on Fort Sumter blasted away his remaining hopes and filled his heart, he said, with sadness and grief. Nevertheless, his determination to save the Union never wavered. Douglas went on a tour of the Midwest to rally Democratic voters to the cause of the Union. He knew they might blame Lincoln for secession. But he told them that the Southerners had fired on Sumter, that Southerners had destroyed the Union, and that there could be no neutrals in this conflict, only patriots or traitors. Then I appeal to you, my own Democratic friends, those men that have never failed to rally under the glorious banner of the country, whenever an enemy at home or abroad has dared to assail it, to you, who I believe to be the purest patriots that ever lived. Do not allow the mortification growing out of defeat in a partisan struggle and the elevation of a party to power that we firmly believed to be dangerous to the country. Do not let that convert you from patriots into traitors to your native land. <laughs>